What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Advanced Warfare gameplay. I don't know what I go. I'm on Riot though, and um, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a commentary about um, roster changes, and uh, I'm going to read you guys the roster changes and then say my opinion. So um, I'm not going to go in, or I'm just going to go in order from what happened first. Um, so on October 15th, Diabolic was, I don't know if he was, yeah, I think he was dropped from Excellence and then he was picked up by Rise Nation on uh, November 1st. Um, on October 24th, Methods, Jump, TCM, and Baker were dropped from Aware. Uh, Methods, Jump, and TCM went on to Elevate. Uh, that was announced on the 24th. Um, Baker went to Excellence with Accuracy, Happy, and Lawless, who were all free agents. Parasite was dropped on, or on the 26th uh, of October. Parasite was dropped from Phase. Is uh, still a free agent. Um, on October 26th, also Neslo was dropped from TK. Uh, he joined uh, Fear on October 31st, so Halloween. Um, on the 27th, Curse dropped Tipsy and Burns Off, who were both free agents. 28th, Looney uh, left Rise and went to Team Caliber, or DK, whatever you call him. Um, Kilo also left uh, Optic, or Optic Nation and is now a free agent. Uh, Study left Denial and is now a free agent. Or was dropped from Denial and is now a free agent. Attach left Rise Nation and went to Denial. Fears left Vex and went to Isolation Empire. Um, Miracles left Optic Nation and went to, or is a free agent. Formal left Envy and it was announced today, the 6th, that he was joining Optic Gaming. Uh, Legal, Bobby, and Too Quick went to Isolation Empire. They were free agents, that was announced on the 1st. Um, replays and Attach are without a team right now because they uh, denial uh, I guess released their whole roster um, Optic Gaming and uh, released Proofy and Clayster so um, and then the rumor is that Nezla is apparently leaving Fear and going to Phase um, it's confirmed that Parasite Miracles and Killa are going to be teaming um, and Karma, Crim6, Dido, and Aix left DG. That's a rumor. Um, so right now, my opinion on the Parasite Miracles Killer, uh, I guess you can call that the Impact Squad again without uh, without Karma. Um, I think that's kind of dumb. I mean, the team was successful, but the team also argued a lot and. You can't have a, te a good team with bad chemistry, and so I kind of think that's a bad idea to get that team back together, especially since Parasite and Kill really butt heads a lot, so I don't think that's such a good idea. Um, now, what do I think about Optic Gaming? Everybody knows I'm an Optic Gaming fan. However, I do respect other pro teams, and I just wanted to say that real quick. Um, I think Optic Gaming, I think their decision to drop Clayster and Proofy was kind of smart. Um, Everybody knew it was coming. Clayster said himself he knew it was coming um, in his twit long, tweet longer or whatever it's called. And um, I didn't read Proofy's tweet longer. Uh, I think he sent one out. But I'm pretty sure both of them knew it was coming and it was inevitable. Um, I think it was smart to pick up Formal. Formal's really good. He was really good while he was on Envy. He was really good while he was on TK. Um, he was really good while he was on FaZe, uh, even though that wasn't that long. So, I think that's a smart play, or smart move to get formal. Uh, I did like Clayster and Proofy, and I hope they find a great team. Hopefully, maybe even the team together, and like like they both said, uh, they hope to remain friends. Well, like Clayster said, they hope to remain friends, so. Um, I think it was smart of formal to leave Envy. I do like that he took the blame for that whole situation. I think it was smart. I already commented on the Miracle situation. Denial, I don't understand that. They just got replays, or they just got attached from Rise Nation. 
and replays. I don't know what about uh, what happened with the uh, Zuma and what's his name? Um, oh, uh, Saints. I don't know if they're still on the team because apparently Denial dropped their whole team is what I heard. But right here, I'm looking at the Cod Sportspedia. Uh, it says only replays and attach were dropped. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what the thinking behind that was. I mean, they didn't place too bad at Columbus. Um, so I think they should have kind of... I mean, I, don't, I haven't seen replays and attach play Advanced Warfare either. Um, I haven't seen any of the guys from Isolation Empire play. Uh, I know Fears was at one point on Complexity. I think that was during Frag Cup 4, maybe a little bit after. Uh, I already commented on Miracles, Killa. Looney to TK. That's actually a really good roster move. Looney's a very underrated player. He always performs very well on LAN. And I think he'll perform even better with TK. The TK guys are really good. And uh, they have a lot of skill, especially with Looney on that team now. Um, makes it a lot Easy, like it makes it a, a much better team. Not bashing on Nezlo. Nezlo is a great player. I just don't think he really meshed with TK. Um, and I think his move to Fear is good. I don't know what the Fear roster is right now. I know it's definitely Moho and Nezlo. I don't know if they have are they are waiting on two or what. But I kind of hope Fear comes back and is a dominant team like they were in Black Ops One. I'd love to see that. Maybe Fear turns into a new complexity or EG. Um, Excellence, I kind of hope to see them grow. Um, the leader of Excellence, uh, I've talked to him before. He's pretty cool. Uh, I think he's... I think it's a very under, underrated organization, and I hope to see them grow. So, those are my opinions on the roster changes. So, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down for below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.